They boarded school buses but didn't go to class. Instead, thousands of support workers with Edmonton Public Schools gathered at the Alberta Legislature to protest. We won't take it anymore. At issue, according to the Canadian Union of Public Employees, or CUPE, poverty wages and intimidation tactics from the province. More than 4,000 educational assistants, library technicians and office workers were set to strike Thursday, but instead Alberta appointed a dispute inquiry board to force them back to work while mediations continue. Walking out like they did could result in fines. We're willing to pay any fine to get justice and decent wages for these workers. Keepy is the largest union in this country. We are not going to be pushed around. These folks are not going to be pushed around. EAs on average make about $28,000 a year, the union says. They're trying to get to about $40,000, but the offer is an extra 73 cents an hour. The cost of living has gone up by 30%. Our members, the wage on the, the offer on the table is a government imposed 2.75% mandate, and we're not willing to accept that. Our members are in poverty wages and they need to, to earn more. It wasn't just CUPE protesting. Other activists and government employees, including nurses, joined them Thursday to argue Alberta's conservative government is being unfair to working people workers are saying enough is enough they deserve respect they deserve to be able to afford to live they deserve their rights which includes their right to strike at the schools classes continued for most kids but because of the strike parents of students with special needs who need ea help were asked to keep them home for the day parents city news spoke with are siding with the workers I think they're doing a fine job of looking after our children and, and teaching them. They should get more. They do a good job and then they um, uh, keep the school going. Edmonton Public School says they are monitoring the situation and will keep parents up to date. The education minister says he's disappointed QP chose what, quote, seems to be an illegal strike. He's encouraging them to keep working and negotiating. The plan at this point is for education workers to go back to the job on Friday, but QP is not ruling out more protests in the future. From the legislature, Sean Amato, City News.